There we go. That's my uh, thumbnail. Hey guys, Nitsa Gamer here, and I'm right where I left off for Amnesia Machine for Pigs inside the chapel. So I've lowered down the quality a little bit. Uh, okay, I guess the game has to get used to it a little, but yeah, I've lowered down the quality a little bit so that way there's not too much lag in, and unfortunately it looks like there is. I guess that's because I'm running uh, two programs to record this. Anyway, um, let's continue on. So in the previous session, um, we were right here and we couldn't activate this thing. Now I think I may actually know what to do after editing my last part, part 6, um, a religion for the swine. Actually that's another thing that you might notice, is that for every single part, I'm actually going to do something similar to the title of this game, A Machine for Pigs. So for every title, for every part, I'm naming it a noun or verb for a noun or verb. And it can be two words in those um, categories. So in the last session, it was a religion for the swine. And in the very first part, it was an attic for kids. So, so around uh, the last time I was playing this, I couldn't figure out what the hell to do or where to progress. But I think I know what to do. Yeah, apparently you you can move this thing. That's one. But apparently there's another thing missing here, and I've written some in my journal, so let me check that out. A cryptic clue. Some kind of mechanism. A secret and inferno one, no doubt. The missing candlestick is clearly the answer. But why this I cannot fathom. Why hide secret machines in, in a place of prayer? And where are the faithful? That's a good question. Why are there drag marks around the altar as if someone was pulled away? Drag marks around the altar? What do you mean drag marks? Uh, I'm not seeing any blood here if you're talking about drag marks. Okay, so I think I know where the candle is when I was editing uh, part 6. So it's back to where uh, the room that Stefano was in. So I'm just going to go back there. Or, no way, I think I actually took it out of that room. It's like, Yeah, it's sitting right here. Here's the missing candle. So if you're someone who's playing the game and doesn't know where to find the candle, it's inside this room and it should be laying like up here or something. So, just to keep that in mind. And yeah, I was actually, I only watched the first three parts of PewDiePie's Let's Play, and yeah, unfortunately he didn't see Stefano. Such a shame. Alright. Let's put this candle where it belongs. There we go. Okay, the sound came from here, which means I can actually activate the machine now, I believe. Yep. That was pretty cool. Well, let's see what I have in my journals. So, infernal machinery. The engine fires. The flames are stoked. I hear steam in the walls, vibrations upon the very air. My heart falters at the prospect of throwing the lever and exposing the workings of its dark co contraption. But my children beckon me on, and I cannot fail them. The hellish portal. It appears I have no choice. Thus I descend, and may God have mercy on my soul. If this is my bedlam, and I am to be cast as Matthews, then I will wear that mantle for the sake of my boys, and face whatever horrors lie beneath the altar. Okay, of course it's a blind let's play, but one mistake I was making in the last let's play is that I was saying that it was like one boy and one girl or something, but apparently it's two boys that he has, and I think it's kind of... Con I don't think I could consider too much of it as a mistake, considering, for one, why do the kids sound like girls?
Oh god, no. Okay, I'm already nervous. And I recently took a shower, so... Yeah, he kind of knows my hair is a little down, so... Silence, do not startle or upset... Okay, fine, I won't startle or upset anything. Yeah, in Amnesia of the Dark Descent, you could open this thing. Oh, come on. Listen, Papa. Hold the act to your ear. You can hear the sea. Okay, I don't think that's an egg, children. Oh my god. Is it just me, or is this the room that I've seen in the trailer? I think it's official, guys. We're facing monsters in this part. This is actually... This is actually just like the Session 2 in Amnesia the Dark Descent, except I don't know what I'm getting myself into. Oh god. So far, so good. I don't know what language that is, but whatever you say, man. Okay, so down here. <laughs> okay. That was just a scare. Did I officially saw what the pig looked like? Well, turns out they're gonna be scary after all, so let's keep on going. I have no idea where I'm going. Oh, why does it have to be babies crying? Oh my god. There it is. Ah oh, shit. What the heck? Okay, that's a funny looking monster, if you ask me. Oh, what the heck? Okay, I was just hiding in the corner and it didn't catch me. That was such a surprise. But that's funny the way they walk. I mean, did you see the way it walked? It was kind of just... It was all deformed, for crying out loud. And so to the stoking. The fog will not lift. The shift is be claimed. 
Everyone lies in the half-light waiting to drown in the dry air. He is the paperweight that blasts them. <sighs> Those pigs actually... I think it's actually going to be interesting. I mean, I can't believe I hid in that one corner and the monster was so damn close. And I was able to hide from it, even though I had my lantern out when it was on the other side of the cage. So, since I'm only getting deeper in the game, something tells me there's going to be a lot more coming. So, we're in for a treat tonight, guys. Let's go. outside no but well we got a whole stash of piggies so when our light flickers on and off that's a sign that there's pigs around that's actually kind of an interesting way because in the original amnesia the dark descent you had to listen to the growls to know that they are around in this one your lantern blinks on and off and I think that is actually a, quite an interesting setup. Alright, so... Wait, this thing's empty. Truck fuel and station. Yeah, it's empty. And this is not the same location we've been into the last time in the first session. This is a whole different area. Well, it looks like we are outside. God damn it, it's lagging. Sorry, guys. Water in his shoes. Always the water, and the sparks of the embers of the wheels. It's too bony! It's too damn bony! That's what she said. <laughs> uh, never mind. Uh, okay, anyway, um... I think I've been in somewhat of this area before. Yeah, that was the church. So over there's the graveyard, and this was the cage that I possibly have been in before. Yeah, I think the truck was like further down here or something. Yeah, I think I've been in this area before. Maybe, I don't know. Or probably not. I don't know. It's starting to look more unfamiliar. So I guess we can just carry on. Okay, I guess we do nothing with this truck. Two trucks in a row. Getting somewhere, but I don't know where exactly. Come on, get up there. So, a bunch of windows, and a place we can go to with my name on it. So, I'm just going to look into my journals, and apparently I had to press the J button twice. Okay, so the Mandis Processing Company. My soul shudders at what I have seen, but at, least, but at last I have reached the main part of the factory. Now onwards, downwards, to find those floodwaters and drain them away like Moses, I will cleave the waters and lift my little darlings clear from its vile cradle. Okay, for a Christian, you sure like Moses. Actually, I think Christians do actually also um, have a little bit of um, stories on Moses. I don't know. I think Moses is mostly popular in like the Jewish tradition, but I don't know. I don't really know too much on the religions. Uh, can I get it up here? Oh, jeez, Dad, don't sneeze. God damn it. Okay, okay, this approach is not working. So in there, uh, I can't really sneak in through the windows. Stranger's not allowed on the works, okay? Do I count as a stranger since I got amnesia for, I don't know, a couple of years, or a couple of months? Or who knows how long it took him to build this machine? I mean, unlike Daniel, which I think he pretty much lost 
everything that he remembered. How can I not get up here? I think um, Mandis pretty much lost his memory, pretty much um, just to the point of where his wife died, probably. Okay, wait, is there something over there? Alright, someone leaves his workshop unlocked, so let's go in. Oh god, no, I remember that light in the trailer, so let's look around here for a moment. Okay, I never took notice of this, but I just, I'm just realizing this now. I mean, the flood breach emergency shutdown, please. So, this is a map of some sort, but I'm not sure how it's, how it works out, to be honest. I don't know, I guess I'll find out later as I proceed on. These men, Professor, these so-called men of vision, they would shackle the masses to a wheel and turn it till their backs break. All for that opiate, the lure of profit. These fools who lackey them, these priests, these officials, this government, they make pigs of us all. But what solution, my dear man? How to break a cycle? You cannot simply remove the promise of a better world for these unfortunates. In the workhouses, in the orphanages, the belief in heaven is surely the only sucker one can find. We do not need to wait. We can bring forth paradise now. We can speed the passion. With only a small sacrifice, we can hold the apocalypse. With just a small sacrifice, we can free our shackles and deliver them to paradise now. There's pigs around here. Come on. I had enough of that one pig, and even though I didn't get chased or attacked, that was enough. Slow and steady. <gasps> God damn it, whoever's doing that. Oh shit, there's a pig over there. Where is it? Don't leg on me, I need to see. Okay, I think I'm doing good. I think the pig is just there for scare for now. God damn it, there's lots of legging. Sorry guys, I thought I fixed the problem. So you're going to have to get used to it. No, oh, don't do that. Don't do that. I didn't want a spinning character in this game, okay? Okay, the lights are blinking on and off. There's something supernatural about these pigs. I mean, the first start, the f the first game, the Dark Descent, did have supernatural elements, and in many sense, it makes sense with the orbs and such. But what is this game's excuse to actually have supernatural elements, and for these pigs in general? <laughs> 